It's the time right now in today's Unconventional Wisdom. We get to know sports commentator and former NBA basketball player, Kenny the Jet Smith. Now, last week, I asked him to predict which teams he thought would make it to the finals and more. From his decision to join the players protesting racial injustice by walking off the set of his, his show to launching a basketball academy, here's my one-on-one -on -one with Kenny the Jet Smith. I think the Los Angeles Lakers and the, and the Miami Heat will be in the, in the finals. So LeBron against his old team. Yeah, that, that's some good theater right there. Some some good good television if that actually happens. Also, some good television is you on TET with Ernie, Shaq, and Chuck. <laughs> you talk about fun. Now, you're breaking it down. You're like the, the knowledge guy because you're like, all right, this is what's happening here. This guy moves here, and this is what, this is what happens. Shaq does his thing. Ernie is like the, the guy in the middle. And then there's Charles Barkley. <laughs> you guys sit no, no, right no, beside not, each other. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure why I laugh. Because as soon as you said Charles and, and, and Shaq, I start laughing. <laughs> but you know, but uh, it's a it's a lot of fun. You know, we we become part of the fabric of not only just basketball television, but just television in general. We become not a basketball show, but a TV show. Which one of them gets on your nerve the most, Chuck or oh, Shaq? Charles, and not because of the reasons you would expect. <laughs> Charles is um, is very OCD, if you, the people don't know in the world. So he he's constantly wiping. This is before the pandemic. Really? He's wiping things, picking things up, cleaning things. And so he's so annoying. He's like, <laughs> like you know, like a, a, an auntie with a, with, a, with a vacuum cleaner all the time. Just uh, you got to lift your feet up all the time. You got to move around. You know, with everything going on in this country with the... Uh, uh, racial tension, social justice. Uh, a short time ago, uh, the players decided, like, at the beginning of the playoffs, that they were not going to play. And you walked off the set in solidarity with the players. Tell me why you decided to do that. Well, I, you know, it was nothing that was um, thought about preconceived. It was kind of in the moment at the time. I was thinking about what was going on in our country doing and, and what the players were trying to stand for. And sometimes you have to you have to join the march. You can't just, you know, uh, be a particular uh, person on the sideline cheering people on. So I just joined the march that night. I thought it was important for not only for what the players were doing, but what the country was going through at the same time and still going through uh, to kind of let everyone know that I, I was joining the march that day. Nothing more, nothing less. Being, being a participant instead of talking about what people are doing. Okay. All right. So let's go back to basketball on the basketball court. All right, you're from New York, and you ended up at the University of North Carolina. How did that happen? I know you were an All-American. You were a superstar in high school. Uh, how did you end up at, at North Carolina? Is it just because that's where Michael Jordan went to school and all the great basketball, Dean Smith? Is that, is, was it that simple? Well, it, it, it's a compilation of all of those things, you know, a compilation of all. Uh, you know, a lot of schools told me they had great academics. A lot of schools said great social life. A lot of schools, great basketball. I just thought North Carolina, University of North Carolina had all three. You ever get back down to uh, Chapel Hill? I get down to Chapel Hill all the time. You know, my son is a, junior, a senior there. Oh, okay. Um, he plays on the team. He's a senior at the University of North Carolina. So uh, I'm always there now for the last four years. You know, when you have a college student, you're sending a lot of pizza money down there. So uh, <laughs> I'm there a lot. Yeah. What's it, what's it like being Kenny Smith's son coming up under, under a legend? Well, you know, for him, you know, I would hope, you know, I would hope that he would say this, that, oh, it's great <laughs> and that my dad does a great job supporting me. I think the one thing as a parent, you know, you, you're always a parent first and you, you're not thinking about what you've done and what your accomplishments are. Before we go, let's talk about your, your basketball academy. Great. Uh, Jet Academy, you know, is a virtual basketball online training. It's a streaming service that you can online with NBA greats. Uh, you know, we have Kemba Walker, Trey Young, Victor Oladipo, Brianna Stewart, Brittany Griner for the WNBA, where we, we become your personal trainer for one hour every weekend right now. That's it. We're on, we're on live. Um, again, you just go on, you sign up, uh, and we have what, the most unbelievable weekend, weekend rates at $9.99. Mm -hmm. You go on, and we become your trainer for the weekend. And you just go to jetacademycamp.com. Again, jetacademycamp.com. If you want me to train your, your, your uh, young, inspiring, in, inspiring and aspiring players, um, in your household and um you know with COVID 
and with uh, social distancing, it's the most safest way we can do things right now because we can't have live camps. Mm -hmm. So we can't have live instruction uh, like we, we typically have had. So here we are. And, and coming into your homes, your garages, your living rooms, it works on any device, anywhere. All you need is Wi-Fi service or cell service, and you're in. All right, just a reminder, you can listen to my podcast, The Unconventional Wisdom, on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Audio Boom, or go to the Fox 5 website and click under the podcast tab.